as we were saying, eating well is a form of self-respect. At 70 years young, no medication, no. no heart problems, no nothing. Went to the doctor and I got my checkup a couple of weeks ago. My bone structure is above normal for a 70 year old. Hold them the muscles. Hold on. Miss Olympia. Get out. Welcome to all our YouTube subscribers. We love you guys. What's going on, family? Scott Brown here, back with another video. We have the lovely... Auntie Pauline. All right now, Auntie Pauline, everybody's favorite auntie. Here in the kitchen. This video, Auntie Pauline, she cooked up an amazing meal. Amazing plant-based vegan meal for me. I think it's time for me to return the favor. So guess what? I'm gonna be in the kitchen and I am going to be cooking for my favorite auntie, Auntie Pauline. First of all, I just wanna tell you guys how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. I cannot stop saying that enough. Thank you for those comments that you continuously spread our way. We are so grateful to you. Please know that that is the fuel that Blast our rocket up into the atmosphere, and because of that, we are so great. You are confirming our purpose. You are confirming the purpose why we are on this earth, and we are so grateful to you. Oh, yes, we are. How could you not love us? 70 and family, we want to share with you today, and it says eating well is a form of self respect. If you agree with that, Leave a comment below. I'm going to make a coconut curry chickpea dish for my lovely auntie, all right? So here's the ingredients. Oyster mushrooms right here, organic oyster mushrooms right here. Organic zucchini. I usually do zucchini and squash with peas in the can. And usually we don't do the canned ones, but we press for time. So we got some canned chickpeas, some pure coconut cream seasonings. We have onion powder, cayenne powder, curry powder, oregano, garlic powder, and we have the salt and pepper. I think it's time for me to get up in the kitchen and cooking up with that love for my favorite auntie, Auntie Pauline. Thank you, nephew. Let's go! Let's get it on! All right, family, so what we're gonna do right now, so we're gonna prepare the oyster mushrooms first, so. We have the oyster mushrooms, organic oyster mushrooms that you see right here. And we're just gonna put it in this bowl. And this meal is gonna be very, very appetizing and high protein as well too. Chickpeas, the mushrooms, and everything. You eat good, you gotta eat good. Put up the mushrooms like so. Uh, nephew, why do you prefer, uh, what are these, oyster mushrooms? Yes, oyster mushrooms. Why do you prefer these in the, uh, in the dish? The oyster mushrooms, I like how the texture is. It's a little bit, um, more meaty, per se. Right. And it also, it is very high, very, very high in psyllium and high in protein as well. So oyster mushrooms is like my go-to mushroom. I love it. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love it. They're high in selenium? Yes. Okay. It's really good for the eyesight, really good for a number of things. Other mushrooms could you use besides these delicious looking oyster mushrooms? So what you can use, you can use lion's mane, you can use portobello, you can use the regular mushrooms, um, you know, things like that. You can also use wood ear mushrooms. There's many different species of mushrooms. The mushroom is just like my go-to. You know, you know when you just have a go-to? Right, right, yeah, right, man. right, right. So nephew, how long have you been cooking this dish? Oh man, I've been cooking this dish for about three years now. Three and years. And I've been vegan plant-based for five years, going on six. It's like one of my favorite go-tos. When it comes to cooking plant-based and vegan, it doesn't have to be boring. Right. It doesn't have to be a boring salad people just typically go to. Right. The thing is that you want to experiment with the cooking. Have fun with the cooking. Start to educate yourself on different dishes. And cool things, try out things. Right. Try out a recipe book and what have you. And just have fun with it. I love it. I Absolutely. love it. Do you have any favorite plant-based or vegetarian cookbooks that you can uh, recommend? There's one book 
that inspired me that was um, Alkaline Vegan from Dr. Sebi. Don't remember the, the book name itself. Right. I have it at the house. Okay. The book definitely encouraged me to get more into cooking and try out different things, especially like Alkaline Vegan food. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, what else could we put in this curry dish besides... Uh, because, I mean, I just... I just really, really enjoyed it. The first time you made it for me, I could have sworn I was in heaven. <laughs> you could use eggplant, you could do okra, you could do a, a number of things, you know, just have fun with it. Right. If you don't like chickpeas, which I will judge you for life if you don't like chickpeas, then you can use different other beans as well too. Uh -huh. But yeah, just have fun with it, experiment with it, and see what comes out. Okay, love it that I like about this dish is it's all seasonal. You can eat it in the fall, winter, summer, or spring. Absolutely. Man, you know, I mean, my creative juices are really popping because if I'm not mistaken, you can throw a leafy vegetable in there too, like spinach, right? Yes, you can. At the end. Spinach, kale, whatever you want. Love that. <laughs> Love that. I think in the future we're going to have to do an e-cookbook together. I think we're going to have to do that. Comment down below if you want to see the e-cookbook between me and um, Auntie Pauline, all right? All righty, <laughs> all righty. Family, I mean, we just love you. We love you so much. I mean, you are just imprinted on our hearts. I mean, slash door here. Check it out. Welcome to all our YouTube subscribers. We love you guys. We sure do. We sure do. So subscribe. <laughs> A few is banking up there. He's growing. 400,000 is knocking on the door. Yes, Before you know it, a half a million. Blink your eye and there we go. One million loving subscribers. We love you guys. You have tagged me in, I'm so happy because I really love to help you out in the kitchen. You know what I mean? I love chopping and cutting. Some of my best ideas come when I'm chopping and cutting in the kitchen. How is that? Is that size okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just cut up in small pieces so it'll cook a little bit faster. What inspires you to cook plant-based vegan, especially at the age that you are 70 years young? Oh, Talk to me. Artist me are doctors and hospitals. Mm. I don't want to visit them and I don't want to go to them. Okay. And I know eating a plant-based diet is so healthy for you, especially the arteries. It keeps the arteries open nice and wide so that the blood could just run through there smoothly mm. and it doesn't get all clogged up mm. blood and everything. And another thing, being unique I like being different and I want to get as many people on the bandwagon with me as I possibly can right I heard a very sad statistic do you know over 80% of African American women are obese oh boy 80% my mission this is your mission this is our mission to educate our people. We want everybody to be with us as long as they possibly can. Enjoy life to the fullest. Mm. Like my nephew says, just because you're living doesn't mean you're living. <laughs> she sounds just like me too. As I said, just because you're living doesn't mean that you're living. Yes. Absolutely not. Right. So, at 70 years young, no medication, no. no heart problems, no nothing. As a matter of fact, and I'm not bragging, I'm just trying to influence you. But as a matter of fact, I went to the doctor and I got my checkup a couple of weeks ago and my bone structure is above normal for a 70 year old. Show them the muscles. Hold on, Miss Olympia. Woo! <laughs> I'm not frail or anything, fainting or anything. And I attribute it all to the diet, what you eat. Mm -hmm. As we were saying, eating well is a form of self-respect. And we 
we respect ourselves, we love ourselves, we take care of ourselves. This body, this home is the only one that we have. Mm -hmm. We can't trade it in for another home. That's why we have to feed it well. Uh, exactly. You hear what Auntie Pauline said? Eating well is a form of self-respect, y'all. Yes. 70 years young, still moving and grooving. Yes. Fun like wine. Oh, thank you, nephew. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nephew? Nephew is continuing to do his thing. So what are we doing now, nephew? I'm gonna just cut the bell pepper right now, so let me just... Slice it. Okay. A whole bell pepper. You could just use like a quarter or a half of it, okay. depending on how much you want in the dish itself. Right. You know, I love bell peppers. Okay. So. The vitamin C in it. Yeah, this is my like. I love these peppers next to Scotch bonnet as well too. Ooh. Is, yeah, you know your nephew you love that spice. You my blood man. <laughs> I love it nice and yes. spicy myself. Oh man. June, that you like uh, Indian food too, right? I love Indian food. Shout out to all my Indians. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why the curry, the spice, you know? Uh huh. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I love, love Indian food. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Some favorite restaurants that I go to from time to time, like the time I took you out to Double Zero. Right. Yes, that's one of my favorites. I love that spot. Uh, yeah, Double Zero. Is and then there's an all vegan Ethiopian spot in Ooh. Brooklyn called Butter Cafe. Sound like a plan. Okay, we got, listen. I got you. <laughs> all right. It's all right. on me. It, one thing that really motivates me to eat like this, Auntie. Tell me. You. You stop it. No, I think to myself, like, yes, I'm 30 years old. I'm not going to be 30 forever right as age come along you know certain things come along and be such a shame and such a waste for me to have all these different inspirations and motivations around me and i'm not applying myself shout outs to you auntie pauline shout outs to central park joe yes and you know just shout outs to anybody that have shown a lot of love, great examples for me as a young man to follow. You know, shout out to OG Lou, shout out to everybody, man. All right. Eats being the, the origin of life. The origin <laughs> of life. Right? I'll never forget Seeds that. Seeds is the origin of life. I love that. Every time we go and purchase a watermelon. Uh oh And make sure that it is not a seedless watermelon. Put the camera in my face. Say no to seedless watermelon, all right? <laughs> no to seedless grapes, nephew? Mm-hmm. Seedless grapes, seedless orange, seedless watermelon, anything that's seedless is considered GMO, Ooh. which is genetically modified organism. So stay away from that. Stay with the seeds. Seeds is the origin of life. Talked about the chickpeas. Right. So we press with time. Organic chickpeas in a can. I'm gonna put it in this bowl okay. right here. Okay. 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 Then now we're gonna go to the microwave. Right. The chickpeas in the microwave. And I'm just going to press it for 10 minutes or so to do it stay. All right. So now let's get to the cooking of this wonderful meal. That's what I'm talking about. We're about to get the cooking of this wonderful meal. So for me personally, I like to cook with avocado oil. It's one of the healthiest oils that you can cook with. Deep frying anything, great seed oil is amazing for you. Away from the vegetable oils and canola oils. Those are not good for you at all, especially coconut oil too. Well, it's good for you, but don't overheat it, yeah? So now that we have the stove on, we're just gonna wait for it to just heat up a little bit. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our peppers in. So next, we have the wonderful organic zucchini that I'm gonna be putting in there. Let's cook for a little bit. How long are you gonna let it cook for a little bit, nephew? So I'm just gonna let it cook for about two to three minutes just for it to like warm up. Okay. And then from there, we're gonna add the lovely oyster mushrooms. And after that, we're gonna add the seasoning and everything else. Okay. So, yeah. You feel the energy of that food already. 
nice, nice, nice. And the oyster mushrooms, and we're just gonna put it in the pot like so. It's a medium delicious. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta love the fried oyster chicken mushrooms, which I did like what three years ago, four years ago on the channel family. Right. And it was amazing. I gotta make that for you. You have to. I got it on film. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you you batter the uh, make a batter for the mushrooms and you yeah. dip it in it? Okay. Yeah. Like panko. Okay. Um, spelt flour. Okay. Which is my favorite things to use is spelt flour. Right. What is the name of that again? Fried oyster chicken mushrooms. Okay. That's good. I yes. like that. Yeah. Cook down there, we can add the seasonings, okay? Okay, sounds good. All uh, right. Nephew, I want to just get a little close-up uh -huh. of how it's looking in this. It's looking good. It is looking phenomenal. It's so easy. It's so quick. Wow, that looks really, really good. This is just the beginning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, if you you didn't have to fry anything, it's like you nope. just warmed up everything. Stir fry too. You don't have to put oil in it, you know. Okay. Nice. Looking real good. We cook it down to a good amount. We're just gonna add some sea salt. We're gonna add some sea salt. Good. Mm -hmm. After the salt is the pepper. The pepper, we're gonna add some oregano. All right. Love oregano. Okay. And nephew, Let's how much water would you say you added to it? Um, about probably like two cups. Two cups of water. Okay. Two cups of water. Mm -hmm. Cause we're trying to make it into like a stew. Okay. Form. All right. So we just want to make it like that, you know. Uh huh. Pepper. Good for the metabolism. Yes. Helps burn up those unnecessary calories we don't want. Onion powder. Yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy, tummy. I live for auntie's ad libs. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of garlic powder. Okay. Just gonna stir that up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. Just the beginning. Alrighty. <laughs> well, in the middle. It's time for the chickpeas debut. All right, so we got the little chickpeas right here. I'm just gonna add it in there. And the curry powder, because this dish is all about the curry. You can never have too much curry. Never have too much curry. Never, <laughs> never have too much curry. Mm -mm. So now we're gonna add the magical ingredient, which is the cream coconut, to give it that coconut taste. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let me see that wrapper, just in case. Yeah. Pure creamed coconut. I'm right. gonna just mix it in there. So we gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna mix it in there and watch everything just cook down. Comment down below if you want more cooking videos, man, with me and Auntie Pauline. <laughs> Please comment, please. <laughs> you can see right now, everything is being cooked down. We're gonna be cooking this wonderful meal for about 20 to 25 minutes, even 30 minutes. 30 minutes is kind of good too as well. So I'll see you in 25 to 30 minutes. Alrighty. Few moments later. What we got in this pot right here. You ready? <laughs> All right, I think it's time for us to serve out this wonderful, oh, look at that, wow. The oyster mushrooms and all. So now I'm gonna serve out the second. 
fabulous. I mean, this meal is for a queen, an African queen. <laughs> now the delicious. finishing touch. Watch the finishing touch. We're gonna add some avocado. So healthy. Everybody's gonna be dancing. The cells, the muscles, <laughs> the good bacteria. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. A man in the kitchen who look like he know what he doing. <laughs> yes. I look like I know what I'm doing because I know what I'm doing. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So we just finished up the wonderful meal for Auntie Pauline and she's about to do the taste test of the coconut curry chickpea stew yes. with a little add of, uh, avocado on it, you know? Oh so go God. ahead, go ahead. Nephew, I feel so special. You are special. Thank you. Go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How is it? How is it? Tell, tell to people. How is it? This is absolutely delicious. Oh, oh my God. I wish you were here with <laughs> us. Oh man. Thank but you so I much. I know you with us in spirit. <laughs> this thing is out, it's out of sight, Scott. It was made with love. God knows I can taste it. It was made with love and a lot of thought and a lot of... Um, <laughs> I taste every adjective that you threw into this coconut stew. It's out of sight. Listen, family, when it comes to eating vegan, plant-based, it doesn't have to be boring at all, all right? You go out there, you try new things, and just educate yourself, you know, right. five years vegan. How long? Over 30 years. Over 30 years. Over 30 years. 70 years young and fabulous Auntie Pauline, all right? So, yeah, all the ingredients in the description below, all right? And please, tap in with Auntie Pauline, and I just want to say I love you and I appreciate you. I and you know, you back. Uh, oh, I love you. <laughs> love, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you so you. much. And let us know if you want more cooking videos. It's your boy Scott Burhard. Rick, comment, like, share, subscribe. Shout out to Auntie Pauline, and I appreciate you so much. It will be in the description below as far as her social media, all right? We'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye family, we love you and we appreciate you so much. We just can't stop saying that. It's because of you that we're here and we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Take good care, God bless, we love you. God bless, love you all. Okay, bye-bye. Play Scott, the loaded one, James Bond, Golden Gun. Can't touch this MC who go more hammer than Odin's son. You know this, but then again, they ain't recognize Oprah once. But your man going out like Clips Couch when the sofa sunk. Is this quantity of quality? Queens Dilla on a holler street. Gonna tell me about a dope run. I'm Chinatown Opio. You don't want this.